Hi there and welcome back to DMK Skoda in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around Delta Alpha 72 Golf Oscar Echo, which is this stunning looking Skoda Octavia VRS hatch. It's a 2 litre petrol with 245 brake horsepower and a 7 speed DSG automatic gearbox. And it is looking stunning in this Black Magic Pearl lesson. As you can see, it's really a mean looking car this. I'm going to show you around it now show you some of the features. I'll start by telling you it was registered in January of this year, 2023, so it is a 23 plate, just on a 72 plate. The five spoke alloys, a nice VRS style alloys, 19 inches, all in excellent condition, and with plenty of tre uh, tread left on all the tires too. I don't know if you can see on there, but this little sort of reflective bit there, that is a heads up display. This car comes with heads up display as well as a heated windscreen. There's keyless entry on all four doors, nice black window surrounds there with the tinted rear glass. You've even got the rear wiper option there as well. Moving round to the back, you can see you've got the nice Skoda lettering there. It's sort of hidden away, looking nice and subtle, and the nice VRS there too. And if I show you in the boot, which is electronically operated, you'll find, as usual, decent amount of space, fantastically practical. You've got your anchor points, tether points, 60-40 rear folding seats ski hatch in the centre, under the floor you have a spare wheel kit there, you've also got uh, these levers there to lower the seats from back here, and of course a shopping bag holder hook there, very nice, close that there, there we are, let me just put this seat back up, and in here we will find black cloth in amazing condition with this nice red piping and stitching there, looking really sporty and nice. You've got ice fix points on the left and right hand side, the centre armrest there does fold down, allow me to demonstrate, like so, with two hidden cup holders there and access to the ski hatch from up here. You've obviously got three headrests at the top there as well, you've got a lovely black roof liner to help give a nice sporty feel, you've got lovely clean carpets down there as well, USB-C ports, two of them there in the back, you've got um, electric windows in here and you can see the backs of the nice bucket racing seats with storage pockets in there too. See on the wheels, each wheel has a red brake caliper on, just a nice little sporty touch there to go with the red on the badge. Then up front, as you can see, we've got uh, fog lights at the bottom, you've got daytime running lights on and a really mean looking grille with the nice little badging there. Then stepping into the driver's seat, it's very nice in here as well. Again, you've got this nice faux Alcantara with red stitch and you've got the carbon fibre effect there. The nice bucket racing seats, again in the black cloth with red stitching and accents. Ice fix points there too. You've also got the nice VRS branding there as well, just a subtle difference there. On the centre screen, you can see we have got virtual cockpits. You can change how you view it. My personal favourite is this one with the navigation. And you can see there, 4,778 miles in it, so very low miles. You've got your indicators on the left, front and rear wipers on the opposite side, and adaptive cruise control down here. You've got flappy paddles to change gears should you want to. On the left-hand side, you've got voice control, volume control, song and radio selection, and also heated steering wheel. And on this side, the buttons for the screen in the centre, and also to turn off lane assist and front assist. Down here, you've got your automatic lights with front and rear fogs. There's an extra storage section here where I'm keeping the keys. You've got your keyless start button there. Electric boot release here, pull once and it will open, pull and hold once it's stopped and it will fully close until you hear two clicks. Then you've got your all electric window and mirror controls including electronic heating, folding and rear window locks too. Infotainment wise, obviously you've got the usual climate control through this button here. You've got parking sensors front and rear with a reverse camera. You've got a drive mode select as well and the usual car settings there, so you could have sporty traction control there. You've got satellite navigation as shown there, so you can have two screens running at the same time. You've got DAB, AM and FM radio. You've got Bluetooth connectivity for phone and for music. There is also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity as well. Then there is obviously the background lighting, so you can adjust all the colors to whatever you prefer and also how bright they shine in different sections, which is just a nice feature to have. Then of course, assistant systems, you've got front collision, oh, front warning, um, lane assist, you've got uh, adaptive cruise and tiredness monitoring there as well. Then below that, you've got all the buttons there with hazards, unlock, max front demist and rear demist there. And also if I press climate here, you can see heated front screen there too. Very nice. Below that, you've got storage for your phone and two USB-C ports. Behind that, the nice subtle gear lever, just really easy, foot on the brake, pull back for drive, 
pull, push once for neutral, push twice for reverse, same by both ways, and then park just to take it out of gear. Very nice and simple. In here you've got your two cup holders, electronic handbrake and auto hold function. Then under here you've got extra storage as well and this armrest does adjust forward and backwards and up and down as well. Very nice. You've got a decent size illuminated glove box with the owner's manual. And then up on the ceiling you've got all your Skoda Connect buttons there with the SOS and also sunglasses storage. So this car looks amazing, it drives amazing and it has been amazingly well looked after. If you are interested in it, please do feel free to visit us at Denverdale Road, Wakefield, WF2 7AW. Or alternatively, give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time. You take care now.